Y'all know families are very important. We got to love our families. Because, <laughs> what? What? Y'all know. Y'all know I have a brother that's handicapped. I don't care. I'll talk about anybody. Let me tell you something. And don't you dare feel sorry for him. Don't you dare. My brother is the meanest handicap that God has ever created. And he look like this every day. And he'll just sit in the front yard looking at cars all day long. He screamed at me like that one day. I was like, man, what's wrong with you? That's his favorite word. Okay, I'm telling you right now, buckle up, buckle up. I'm about to tell you the story about Rodney. One day I came home, Rodney was waiting on me in the living room. I don't know why he was always waiting on me. You know the carports where you can pull up and see that big old picture frame window? He in the window like this. And I'm like, damn, what is wrong with him today? And I knew he was going to the front door because he just disappeared out the window, right? <laughs> so, so I go to the front door. I open the door. He was right there. I'm like, what's wrong? What's wrong? He, he, he me hungry. I said, why you go ask mama to get you something to eat? Man, what the motherfucker mama get you? Eat motherfucker, you give me something to eat, motherfucker. So I said, okay, calm down, calm down. I'll get you something to eat. I said, you want some McDonald's? <laughs> <laughs> me want Burger King. So I took him to Burger King. Now I thought because he was handicapped, I could park in the handicapped parking lane. That wasn't true. <laughs> I get out walking on normal. <laughs> This dude <laughs> blocked my car in so I couldn't go anywhere. I swear to God, he rolled down his window. His head was about this big. He started looking at me. I said, like, wow, I think I got his spot. My brother Roddy, mm mm-hmm. <laughs> So then he started talking, hey, you not helping Parker right there. I'm like, man, who are you talking to? Oh, yeah. You not helping Parker right there. And the dude spit at me. Why did Rodney get out the car? <laughs> You're running! Wait a minute. The dude got out of his car. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? They was, about, they was about to have a handicap fight. They started swinging, but they wasn't hitting nothing. So I had to push them closer together. <laughs> I told y'all to buckle up. Okay, okay, okay. I got to tell you this, though. I gotta tell you this, Rodney whooped his ass. We driving down the street, Rodney got his head out the window. Be-loo, be-loo. I'm like, Rodney, get in here, what's wrong with you? He called Ambulam. Beat that motherfucker ass. So Rodney went home. My mama like, what happened to Rodney? Because he had a little torn shirt. He like, be-loo, be-loo. Keep that car Ambulam. Keep that motherfucker ass. Y'all think I'm lying, Rodney went in his room, got out his Rocky Balboa championship boxing belt, put that bitch on, came out in the living room, me a champion. I will tell you this, we got in trouble with Rodney Two days later, because we called my parents doing it nasty. I'm serious. We called my daddy and my mom doing it. They left the door open. My daddy was in that room killing my mama. I mean, he was hitting it so hard. I'm like, damn, mama, fight back. And my daddy's a two-time Vietnam vet. And for some reason, he can't let go. He's a drill team sergeant. You can hear him behind the door. hi yo 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 and he did a move I had never heard before. Like, oh, oh, oh. I'm like, what was that? So Rodney started walking around the house. Oh, oh. I'm like, man, shut up. You're going to get us killed, man. Oh, oh. So my daddy came out of the room. Who making that damn noise? And Rodney hung. Oh, oh. So my daddy beating me. Because he thought I put Rodney up to it, which I didn't. Shaq, I didn't. But he wanted Rodney so bad because Rodney wouldn't shut up. You're like, Ronnie, come here. <laughs> no! Ho ho! He beat Ronnie across his back with a belt so hard it knocked the sound out of him. When you can hit somebody so hard, you put them on mute. <laughs> Ronnie turned around and slow money about here. Oh, y'all think that was funny? 
Rodney tried to call the police on my daddy. Let me tell you what he did. He took the phone, went into the closet like nobody was going to know he was in there. You could see the phone cord sticking out, but you had to hear the conversation between Rodney and the police department. <laughs> 911. Excuse me? Sir, we can't understand you. Sir, could you please slow down? 